Hello, my name is Anya, and today we're going to add functionality to be able to clear all and select all on a dynamically updated checklist. Make a checklist with options to select all and to clear all. So to, first, in order to do that, I created a data type called task, and ta task just has a name as a string field. So I have a couple of tasks that I added directly into the database. Now, what I want to do is drop in a container. This part is actually really important, and you really do need a container here. I'm just going to give it a width of 100% and then a height of 500. Now, within that container, I'm going to drop in a column. And within that column, I'm going to add in this checkbox group. Okay, this is looking good. So let's look at the checkbox group. Here I have an option to add some options to this group. So I can say, take out the trash. I can add another option, which may be make the bed. And I could do it manually like that. But given that I already have a task object, a task data type over here, I want to figure out how to upload this, how to update this dynamically. So the way I need to do that is with a backend query. I'm going to click on this container. And I'm actually going to do the backend query on the container, and you'll see why. I'm just going to grab all of the tasks in the database. Now I can go back to my checkbox group, and I can define options dynamically. So I can grab this task document, which we can see belongs to the container and I can map list items. This just means that it's going to display the name of each task. And I can click confirm and we can see that that auto populated like that. Here I can reload this and we can check back there to see what the functionality is looking like. Here we can see all of the tasks and we can hover over, we see this nice little gray circle, and then we can check and uncheck each of these. And this is great, but now we want to add an option to clear all and select all. So let's do that. Because we put this checkbox group in a column, on this column we can just add a row. And this will be right under it. I'm going to add 20 pixels of padding on the top so it's not completely squished there. And I'm just going to drag and drop two buttons into this row. I'm going to go back on this row and choose this as the alignment. So they're kind of evenly spaced. Now one button is going to read select all. And one is going to be clear all. Now let's add the functionality. On this select all button, I'm going to add an action. And the action is actually going to be under widget and UI interactions, clear all slash select all. I'm going to choose this checkbox group so it knows what to select all. And then I'm going to choose the action of selecting all. As you saw, we're probably, we're going to do the same thing for the clear all. So I'm going to search up clear all. We see that under widget and UI interactions. I'm going to select our checkbox group again, but this time I'm going to click clear all. Now let's preview this. I'm going to select a couple and then I can click clear and we can see those get unselected. I can click select all, everything gets selected and clear all. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.